Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Uh, we're going to check out Final Fantasy VI. This is the uh, recent release on Steam. This is actually a conversion of the iOS and uh, Android game that was offered on uh, port on smartphones. No, we tried to broadcast this yesterday, and uh, I got a number of graphic errors because Adobe Flash just wanted to upgrade and uh, <laughs> refused to cooperate. So this time, hopefully, we're playing nice and 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 the rest of the world can sleep in peace. Uh, there's been some controversy over the of the. Uh, redraw. I said it's not really a remake. Uh, they just decided to go back in and uh, change some of the graphics, upscale them to uh, standards of uh, modern phone games. So while the basic images of the games uh, are so the same, uh, some work went into increasing the, the size and adding a bit more detail. Uh, I'm always open to things. Uh, I had started a playthrough on the Super Nintendo version uh, a little while back, uh, so we can always uh, compare these two versions. You can always see there's uh, quite a bit of work on just even the title screen and the uh, opening, opening Legos, or logos. <laughs> Opening Legos, yeah, it's a different kind of fantasy game. Uh, anyway, uh, let's take a look. The ancient war of the Magi, with its flames of receded, only the charred hunk of a world remained. Even the power of magic was lost. Years that followed, iron, gunpowder, and steam took the place of magic, and life slowly to the barren land. Yet there now stands one who awaken the magic of ages past and use this dread power as a means by which to conquer all the world. Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? There's the city. Hard to believe an Esper has been here for a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Ha! Probably just another wild goose chase. I don't know. They wouldn't have let us use her unless they were confident that the information was good. Ah yes, our witch. See how magic armored soldiers in three minutes. Kinda makes your skin crawl, don't it? Relax. With that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. The girl unless we tell her to. We'll approach from the east. Move out. Uh, so you can already tell they've done uh, a little bit of scaling and touching. Uh, here looks like they just completely recreated these sprites. Uh, but they have left the music alone, so you're still getting the same quality music that you had got when the Super Nintendo version. Uh, if you're old enough to play the Super Nintendo version. Or maybe you went back and played it, who knows. 
Uh, there are also some slight changes in the translation. Uh, the original Final Fantasy III uh, that we got, which was really Final Fantasy VI, was translated by Ted Woosley, and uh, they didn't give him a lot of time to do so. <laughs> Much like Final Fantasy VII, quite a bit of a rush to get the translation done. And all things considered, uh, I think he did a remarkable job. Uh, but this version is supposed to be a little bit more true to the original meaning of the Japanese uh, dialogue. As we all know, translations are, uh, you know, subject to interpretation, of course. That's why the My favorite Final Fantasy game. Uh, my favorite is 4, uh, but there is certainly nothing wrong with this one, 6. It's a really story, although in the second half of the game, uh, the story tends to drift a little bit, uh, but it's still fairly enjoyable. Probably much more than 7. At least it sort of feels like the characters uh, have a bit more weight to them uh, than it did in 7. 7 and 8 weren't really good games for me. The girl takes point. And don't waste time on the riffraff. Therefore, let's move. The Empire's got no business here. Uh, so you can see that the uh, battle gauge, the ATB gauge, is actually uh, set up a little bit differently, uh, mainly be to uh, make up for the uh, small screen display and the nature of uh, smart devices. Imperial Magitech armor? Not even not more. So now we have a more visual representation. Although before we also had a visual representation, but it was just a very, very far. <laughs> this one's a little easier to see. For an So as the names and the bars rise, that determines uh, when uh, to activate a turn happens. I'm a speaker. <laughs> Uh, you also have the option of turning on uh, diagonal uh, eight-way movement. Uh, personally, it really feels. Why don't we change that right now? We'll just do it the directions. We've got them trapped now.
Defend the mine. According to our source, the unearth they unearthed the front in a new mine shaft they were digging. This must be it. A strange light fills the air. Do you want to learn about save points? Why, yes. At save points, you can use tents and sleeping bags and also save the game. If your party should happen to be defeated in battle, it'll automatically restart from the last place you saved. Any gill or items you obtain will have to be found again, but the experience point total will not change. You can also save the game anywhere on the overworld map. Handle this. Stand back. Combat. You will be able to enter battle commands for characters once their window rises to a certain height. Move the cursor by pressing confirm commands by selecting them. When selecting targets, move the cursor directly onto the monster and character portrait to select them. If you haven't already figured it out, uh, hopefully you have. Otherwise, this this might be a tough game for you. We're not handing over the Esper. Ymir. Get them! Hold it! This thing's a... They must have trained it to guard the mines! What are you talking about? You know what this is? Welk, it's a monster that absorbs lightning. The energy in its shell. Right. So whatever you do, don't attack the Got it! Uh, I will inevitably attack, inevitably attack the shell and uh, get one of my comrades killed. I think I can this game. Uh, so, of course, if you attack the shell, or if you attack the shell, uh, he will dose out a nice lightning attack, which will take out a good chunk of your health. There I go, attacking the shell somehow. I really don't know how that happened. <laughs> and there is no way to revive because you don't get any Phoenix Downs. Game. And yes, it is possible to kill everyone in this battle. <laughs> it doesn't just let you automatically win.
I think the strange seeing these uh, scaled and uh, slightly redrawn graphics is the fact that they don't have any noses. <laughs> uh, but they didn't have the any noses in the original either. At least not in the in-game character sprites. Uh, the portrait noses. At least I hope they do. Otherwise they'd have a hard time because smell is one of those things that helps you determine taste safe to eat. Hampering, uh, it's better of a hampering appendage uh, if you are snobby, because it uh, always of what you're looking at. And I think we're only good for two turns and then Then it doles out the damage, and then you accidentally attacking the shell, and one of your character dies. <laughs> As I promptly demonstrated. So, the Nesper. I got up just for this. This thing. Something's not right. The frozen creature begins emitting an eerie light. Where's that light coming from? Whoa! What? What was that? Wedge? Wedge, where are you? Hey! What's going on? My, my, and I just removed the crown. My head hurts. This is a slave crown. The others were using it to control you. It was robbing you of your thoughts, making it so you'd do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll all come back to you. In time, that is. A mysterious young woman, born with the gift of and enslaved by the Gestalian Empire. Uh, uh, I, I don't... I'm, 
I can't imagine uh, her not being Terra, but that's that's just me. My name is Terra. I've never heard of anyone recognizing recovering so fast. You must be made of tougher stuff than most. Open up! We're here for the Magitek Armor Pilot! Open this door right now and hand over that girl! She's an agent. Empire? Magitek Armor? There's no time to explain. You need to get out of here. These fools aren't going to live. This way, quickly. Make your way out of town through the mines. Give some time. Up there! Yeah, uh, I don't mind these uh, uh, these redrawn or touch up sprites, I should say. Uh, I think they look pretty good. And there's no way you could uh, just sell the original game uh, to uh, new. You know, new buyers don't really appreciate the uh, the old style graphics. I know the hard thing to be changed, but you know things do have to change over time. Uh, then again, I wouldn't have the hardcore been happy about anything. <laughs> See a fast forward button there. There must be a way to act. Let's see if it says it anywhere. Uh, no, okay. I guess we'll have to figure it out. Ah, there we go. Although I think that also initiates auto battle. It is. The animation runs quite a bit faster than the original game, so. 
It's like everybody's in a great hurry. My sweet little master. <laughs> With this slave crown, you'll be all mine. Kind of nice. They added some effects in here. <laughs> Burn them all to a crisp. Soldiers of the Empire, at the dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us. We are the chosen ones. The time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world. Nothing shall stand in our way. Hurrah! Long live Emperor Gestal! Ah, looks a little bit like a dog, right? Yeah. <laughs> Took you long enough. Busy with all the robbing and plundering, I presume? A treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching over for relics of the past. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ha! Semantic nonsense. That's a huge difference. Is there something you need me to do? There is indeed. I met the girl. You don't mean... The city guard is pursuing... The city has... This city has the strength to stand up to the Empire, but it won't use it. The people are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance group like the Returners. I tried to explain that the Empire was... But they won't even listen. All right, so you want me to shape? That would be the idea. Make your way to Figaro for the time. Now we've got her. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Kupo? Moogles, are you saying you want to help? Use us to protect Terra from the Would you like an explanation? Why yes. You'll fight using parties. Press right shift or left shift to switch between parties. Defeat the leader of the guards before his men reach Terra. Battle's lost. Alright, as I say to my girlfriend, let's look for the best position.
So it is auto battle. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. <laughs> and it's a top. <laughs> It's a toggle that lasts all through the game. Okay. That's kind of a nice feature, even though it's uh, <laughs> it's not really interesting. Uh, but there are obviously a fair number of battles in the game, since it's a more traditional role-playing game. Or at least what we used to think of a traditional. Oh, I lost the Moogle. It's okay, Locke. You just fainted. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> this switch shot up. Eh? You back with us now? You saved me? Save you thanks for the Moogles. I can't remember a thing. It's like my mind's trapped in a fog. You lost your A man said it would come back. Hmm, so you've got amnesia. Don't worry, I won't leave your side. Turns. I'm not gonna up and abandon someone just because they lost their. I'll keep you safe. I promise. the beginning, Adventurer. Despite all of our recent advances in technology, the outside world remains we know little about. Here, we provide advice to travelers brave enough to face its many dangers. This water from a recovery spring. It will restore your HP and MP. Such springs are located all throughout the world, so all This is a save point. At save points, you can use tents sleep, and sleeping bags, and also save the game. If you're defeated in battle, you'll automatically restart from the last place you saved. Any gill or items you obtained will have to be found again, but your point total will not change. 
you can also save the game anywhere on the overworld map. Valuables are sometimes hidden in, in pots, such as this one. Obtained ether. Have you heard about relics? Relics can grant you a variety of abilities. For example, sprint shoes double your walking speed. A gauntlet lets you hold a weapon with both hands to increase damage. The Knight's Code makes you shield others in combat. Dragon boots allow you to perform jump attacks. A person can equip them at the same time. Potions may taste funny, but they also heal injury. If you're hurt, drink one to restore some HP. Staying at an inn will completely heal your entire party. Be careful! Sometimes monsters lurk inside treasure chests. The button you just use to speak is Enter. If you want to go back, use Backspace. Press the menu. Press the direction key in your desired direction to move. You can switch between four directions from the settings menu. When selecting items in a shop, symbols will appear next to characters that can equip them. An upward pointing triangle indicates an increase or defense power. A downward pointing triangle indicates a decrease in an attack or defensive power. Equals E means the item is already equipped on that character. A symbol beneath the character means that only in your party. Let me teach you how to ride a chocobo. Press up to move forward. Change course by pressing left or right. A downward pointing arrow appears over a chocobo when it stops. By pressing backspace while the arrow is displayed. But be careful. The bird will return to its pen as soon as you get off. Yeah, just like my dates. If you set the battle mode to wait in the config menu, you can take all the select spells or items in battle without having to worry about being attacked. Decks are represented by different colors. Blue equals reflect. Spells are reflected back at the Yellow equals protect. Defense is increased. Green equals shell. Magic defense is increased. Equals haste. Speed is increased. White equals slow. Speed is decreased. Pink equals time is frozen. The white numbers that appear during battle are damage points. Green numbers are Damage received by characters in the back row is halved, but so is the attack power of those characters. To change rows, select the icon of the target character in the main menu, then select the same character again. If you, if you select a character other than the one for whom you selected the character, the two will swap places. Damage is more severe when enemies have you surrounded, if your back is to the one attacking. You can flee from most battles by pressing and holding the left shift and right shift buttons together. You will be able to enter back character once its window rises to a certain height. If more than one character is ready to act, you can enter commands in any You can also set the battle window navigation to tab left or tab right via the config menu. This is the input without scrolling. Select whatever battle mode is easiest for you. For a spell, press right shift or left shift to toggle between one or all targets. The halves the damage received. The command stays in effect until another command is entered. useful after you've gained some experience out in the world. A lot of things you'll hear in here might not make set much sense it's gotten your feet wet. Ah, my feet are wet. But that's just because I, I stepped 
Shall I teach you about the status effects? Invisibility. Physical attacks will miss you, but spells will... You'll refer to normal if hit by magic. Imp. Prevents you from using special skills and magic. Zombie attack... Zombies attack friend and foe alike. Only holy, holy water can reverse the status. If your skin is ashen, your, your HP is zero, and you're still moving, there's a good chance you're a zombie. Sleep and confusion. These status elements are cancelled when the character is attacked. This creates illusionary images of a character, making it difficult for enemies to hit the character. Fire, ice, and lightning are the three principal elements. They, represent, they are represented by spells fire, blizzard, and The reflex spell remains active for only a short time and lore magic. Allow me to explain a few of the specialized battle types. Runic absorbs magic and turns it into MP. Runic remains active until a spell is absorbed or another battle command is Trance boosts attack and magic. The duration increases as more bottles are Dance and Rage. Once selected, these commands are used continuously until the end of the battle. Re-Raise automatically revives the character if KO'd. Regen gradually restores the character's HP. Something to note about the Reflect spell. Reflect doesn't block spells that have already been reflected once. You can use this to your advantage. Cast Reflect on an ally, then cast attack spells on that same person to bounce them at an enemy. Got it? Or get it? Nah, nah, it doesn't matter. Desperate times can bring out strength. You add. Critically wounded characters may occasionally perform powerful hidden techniques when you select attack. Bushido techniques are the power of the technique in question builds up. You can select actions for other characters while power builds up. Yes, uh, the best reason to be well training things is to get free stuff. Well, free stuff is good. Unless it's syphilis, then, then that's bad. I mean, I'm not a fan. Man, that is a tiny map. Save real fast, yes. Figaro Castle. Halt! Oh, it's you. See. The Figaro Castle engine room is down those stairs. The engines are currently under 
so we can be ready to move at a moment's notice if the need arises. I'm sorry. I'm there. It's too dangerous uh, to go alone. For nothing brigands have been locked up for thievery, and worse, you best keep a safe distance. Go and speak to the king. Go. Everybody's like a clone. by looking at it, but this castle is loaded with advanced technology. For example... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what a tease. Don't date him, girls. Alright. Uh, we definitely need Phoenix down. Uh, I will kill myself. <laughs> Fairly often. Oh, it's echo screen. Sleeping bags is good. Crossbow, noise blaster, and bio blaster. Let's see, Biobaster deals poison damage and saps and saps enemies, confuses enemies with the blast of sound. That one sounds better, huh? It's, you know, it's a ja <laughs> Japanese game. That means you always want to go first where you're not supposed to. <laughs> right, right, good enough. Otherwise, you'll trigger an event, and sometimes you won't be able to go back to where it was. Go and speak to the king. Go and speak to the king. You mean, this young woman is... Who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back on a lady on our very first meeting. Young King of Figaro Castle, Imperial Ally and Champion of the Technological Revolution. Uh, Edgar. I am Edgar, the King of Figaro. <laughs> that someone like me knows a king? Well, I'll catch you two later. So, you're right. Don't worry. Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to do as you'd like. It's not in my, it's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Because of my abilities? First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know. I guess your abilities would rank a distant third. Hmm? What's the matter? Hmm. Getting a bit rusty. Hmm. I suppose a normal girl would have something from those words, but not me. Feel free to wander about the castle. 
why I don't, uh... Don't say that. I'll uh, take whatever I can get. <laughs> Now that Castal has the power of Magitek at his command, he set his sights on the world domination. I heard the Castalian Empire got its hands on something called magic. Funny that the music. <laughs> from a Super Nintendo game sounds uh, better than the uh, MIDI sounds from a PlayStation 1 game. <laughs> That's, it. That's one of the disappointing things about, about 7, is that the... Boy, they really cut back on that music. Get it. But this castle is loaded with advanced technology for... Oh, whoops. <laughs> you didn't say anything different. Cat. has an alliance with the Empire. This is... This is Figaro, the Desert Castle. I just... Brother, you know. He was such a nice boy, always thinking of his family. What's wrong with Dad? Why is everybody why is everyone talking about a successor? Are you blind? Have you seen have you seen what his face has become? What do you mean? Edgar! Are you crying? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Uh, I'm going to assume it's Sabin, because I read it as Sabin. And that means how I read it is completely wrong. Ah yes, Sabin. Sure, he's a fine young man by now. He was just a boy when he left, even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now. What's doing? Just, you know, abandon the kid, let him wander off. <laughs> Times for His Highness said he'd marry me when I got old enough. The Castalia Empire has overthrown all three of the other nations on the southern continent. It's only a matter of time before they make their way up here. No, we'll leave it for now. Let us wander about and steal things. Or acquire things. I guess you're not really stealing it. Scholars all over the world are studying magic, but you can only learn something about something without seeing it. I say the same thing about girlfriends. The ancients ones the ancients once wielded a force known as magic. Those who mastered the art were magi. They're not called magi. <laughs> Even though we say magic. Magi, yeah. yeah. It doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? The advanced weapons and other items we manufacture here are shipped to South Figaro.
No, oh, let's take a rest. Resting is good. Look how anxious I am to get in the bed. Chow. Our king showers his attention on women. Young, pretty, or plain. No one is safe. Not tried to hit on that high priestess. Oh, did she ever let him have it? I'm sure he's made a pass or two at you. Hasn't he? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Tara, you're not special. Well, not an The king's brother was so by the succession that he fled the castle, never looking back. I've heard tell that the entire matter was sent, settled by a flip of the coin. Hard to say. I... <laughs> my castle. King Edgar, there's someone from the Empire here to see you. Sire? Ah, Kefka, no doubt. Fooey! Emperor Gestalt's stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead! Why do you have to live out in the middle of the stinking desert? These re the pits. Ahem. There's sand on my boots. How pathetic. Sir Kefka, what in the world brings you out of my way? my kingdom next, would you? We have an alliance. Huh, an alliance? This miserable little sand make me laugh. I hear you've been busy down south. Tree or three. Just what is the Empire up to? That's none of your concern. What brings Emperor Gestal's own court mage, Kefka, to my humble castle? No importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. This wouldn't have to do with that witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole, stole something of you. Is she here? Mm, that's a tough one. More girls in here than grains of sand in the desert. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. Oh, Edgar. You know you only stand to lose by trying to hide. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. Hmm, I didn't like that. Where's Terra? Take her to take her to her room. I can chat, but the Chancellor and I need to do some planning now. Being a king's not all tea and crumpets. If you look follow me. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you around like this without giving you a chance to rest. I'm... Locke, right? 
Seeker, tell me about you. Is it true you're a thief? I'm a treasure. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. Truth is, he's collaborating with another group called the Returners. I serve as their go-between. In Narche is one of us too. The Empire, but I'm an Imperial soldier. Not anymore. They were using you. That's all. Things are different now. It's just, I don't know what I should do. Whenever I try to think, it just makes my head hurt even worse. All that matters is that you make your own decisions from now on. You don't have to think You'll know what you want to do when the time comes. But how will I know which choice is right? No one ever knows that, dear. No one ever knows that. Uh, except when you break up. Yeah, that was the right choice. Well, not a Eventually, you'll know it's the right choice. What in the... What's going on? It's the Empire! Kefka! He... What do you think you're doing? Fire! <laughs> oh, yeah, they're twins. Yeah. Bring me the girl! Now! I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh? Enjoy the barbecue! <laughs> Fire! But yeah, oh, you're also twins. Get her ready. Yes, sire! Had a change of heart? It seems like a choice. Or perhaps I do. Oh my! The brave and noble king abandoned to save his own skin. How utterly delightful! <laughs> Jump! Right, sink her into the sand! Yahoo! Witness the glory of Figaro. Oh, I say now the map is big. Oh. <laughs> Go kill them. What made you jump like that all of a sudden? What what made you jump like that all of a sudden? I stuck. It, it, did you, you you see what I just saw? You did, right? Right? Uh, yeah, this kid's really something, huh? Really something? That was magic. Magic. M m m m magic? She used magic? Tara. Your name is Tara, right? What? What exactly was that? I'm sorry, I... No, we should be apologizing. I didn't mean to make such a big deal out of it. 
nor did I. It just surprised me. I mean, I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... Doesn't matter, does it, Edgar? Terra can use magic, and we can't. That's just all there is to it. The fact is, it could be really helpful to us right now. Thank you, Locke. Thank you. kill at least one party member. <laughs> Even when doing just a normal thing, do it. Bravo, Figaro! Son of a sandworm! You'll pay for this! That was great! Were those bad people? I... I'm scared. Terra, there's someone we'd like you to meet. Like I told you before, we're members of the Returners. Would you be willing to meet our leader? The key to winning this more. Magic. That to your magical powers. There's got to be a relationship. I don't know any more than you do. The powers just come to me naturally. But no human is born with the powers you have. Forgive me. What should I do? The Empire will be coming after you. They want your powers for their own. And if they get them... The world is done for. Terra, you want to understand powers, don't you? Then I think we should meet Bannon. I'll to help you find out more about what or about why you have them. Please is right. There's a cave just south of here that leads to South Figaro. Let's head in that direction. Oddly enough, the scrolling seems to be <laughs> was on the Super Nintendo. Oh, well, actually, let's use our... Uh, let's use our sleeping bag. And uh, let's leave it at that for now. Uh, I do plan on playing uh, this all the way through. All the <laughs> I have a million other games, so it, it might take a while to actually get to it. Uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this autopostrophe with Final Fantasy VI, uh, recent, recently released on Steam. Uh, I believe it's still on sale if you give uh, ten percent off of it, so it ends up being fourteen dollars and some odd cents. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching, uh, and I'll see you next stream.